Although Bob is unable to be with us this evening, it is my pleasure to present uh, on behalf of Bob, uh, Fredo Wyman to accept um, on behalf of Bob Wyman. It is my pleasure to present Robert Ryland as induct uh, for induction into the Midwest Tennis Hall of Fame. On behalf of Robert Ryland, it's my honor to induct Robert into our Midwest Tennis Hall of Fame. Tonight, Robert and Sarah Bob is joining other remarkable contributors to the sport of tennis. Congratulations on this tremendous achievement. Any money, 
That's Bob. His love of the game and sharing of his wisdom is all that mattered to him. And that I listen and be willing to learn from him. If you weren't going to listen, he wasn't going to work with you. So two years later, it was 1986, and I was at a Bob Riley celebrity tennis event, which he held every few years. It was to raise money for inner city youth tennis, the Pyramid Tennis Association in Harlem. And Arthur Ashe was there. So I walked up to Arthur Ashe and I introduced myself and I said, hey, Bob has been coaching me for a couple of years. You know, he's great. And Arthur looked at me, a really serious look. And he said, wow, I didn't know any player that could actually tolerate Bob for two years. <laughs> <laughs> and then he started laughing. And everybody around him started laughing, except me, because I thought he was serious. But I eventually I loosened up. And throughout Arthur's career, Bob was always in his life. They were linked not only by history, but by friendship and mutual respect. And at the time of his death, which I didn't know until recently, Arthur and Bob were going to collaborate on a book about the history of black tennis. Bob finally wrote his own book last year, at the age of 99. I don't know if anybody's seen it, it was on sale at the US Open Bookstore. I have a copy if anybody wants one. <laughs> to know Bob is to know how much he still cares about the game. A friend of ours who's a musician in New York just wanted me to read a short message about Bob, Coach Ryland, as he said. Bob was a young 80 or so years old at the time. I first met Bob on a New York City public tennis court. He came over and just started coaching me. No introduction. And he starts correcting my game. <laughs> you have no idea who this guy is. It's not about trying to recruit new students or trying to make money. He never asks for money. It's just about tennis and what you should be doing to improve your game. Bob loves spreading the love of his game and is very generous sharing his knowledge and expertise with anyone and everyone who will listen. I just want to read a statement from Bob that he wanted to share with everybody here today. First, I want to thank the committee and Les Bernardo, the Chairman of the Hall of Fame Committee, for selecting me to be inducted into the USD and Midwest Hall of Fame. I must say, I was very surprised and also very proud to be invited and inducted into the Hall of Fame. When Les called us this summer, I heard my wife ask him, do you know how old Bob is? <laughs> I am told the reply was, we know exactly how old Bob is. So Bob goes on to thank me for coming to Indianapolis and stand in for him. Bob says that when he asked me, I agreed immediately and stayed, stayed firm, even though his wife kept saying to me while I was in their living room, are you sure you want to go to Indianapolis in January? <laughs> well, the meter is much nicer. I said, no, I'm going. I realized early on the journey may be too much for me, especially with the unpredictable winter weather. I know Bob wanted to be here. I thank my friends Leslie Allen and Ed Baker for contributing to my story tonight. I thank Kathy of Midwest Tennis for her help and support on guiding my wife and myself through the hall preparation. I am truly honored to be a part of the history of Midwest Tennis. My early years were in Chicago. After the Army, I played for Detroit's Wayne State University tennis team in 1945 and 1946. And I played my first tournament as a pro in Cleveland, Ohio. I have loved to be in tennis all my life. I am 99 years old. I look back at my years of tournament play, the wins and the losses, with satisfaction. I have loved teaching tennis to persons of all ages, especially to young kids. Tennis has kept me young, and I am still going strong. And I plan to get, on the, get out to the courts as long as I can walk. <laughs> Thank you.